my Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me, that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask your pardon for my sins and the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My Immaculate Mother, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me. People, many people are coming to you, Lord, all wishing to touch you so as to be made well. We hear in today's Gospel, and whatever he came, in villages, cities or country, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his garment, and as many as touched it were made well. There is chaos on the street, but you, Lord, radiate peace, peace that comes from within. We see your humanity being touched by those in need of healing. They do not need to touch your flesh, but simply your garment, and they are cured. The crowds are not able to see your divinity. Many of them, perhaps, still not know or understand. They see you as a philanthropist, a teacher, or a healer. We feel like telling them, the one who is before you is not an ordinary man. He is Emmanuel. God with us, through God and through man. Lord, an image that can shed light as to what we see unfold before our eyes is winter and tea. On a cold winter day, when we are very cold, when our hands and our fingers are very cold, we make tea. We pour the tea on a cup and then we take the cup on our hands. Slowly, our hands, our fingers begin to warm up. They begin to participate in the heat that comes from the tea. In a similar way, the people that we see in today's Gospel, they come into contact with you, Lord, with your humanity, and so they participate in your divinity and are made well. Lord, you humbled yourself, you assumed our humanity, so that you could be at our reach. You are not a God who is distant. You have made yourself one of us in all things but sin, so that by touching your humanity, we can come into contact with your divinity and so become another you. This is what holiness is. To become you, another Christ, Christ himself. What we see in the Gospel today, you making yourself reachable to those around you so that they can touch you, is a reality that repeats itself again and again in your church. Yes, Lord, you make yourself reachable to me again and again in the sacraments, in the Eucharist and confession. In the Eucharist, bread and wine change and become you. You are truly, really, substantially present in the Eucharist. Body, blood, soul and divinity. We can only see the appearance of bread and wine, but we believe that bread and wine change to become you. In confession, you come to us through the priest to forgive our sins. The priest is your instrument, but you are the one who forgives when the priest says, I absolve you from your sins. Lord, I want to come into contact with you. I want to touch you so as to be made well. I want to grasp your humanity so as to participate in your divinity. Today I can ask myself, what role does the Mass have in my life? And what role does confession have in my life? Do I attend Mass on Sundays? If this is a struggle, the first battle that I must conquer is this one, not to miss Mass on Sundays. Not even if I go on holiday or if I find myself traveling. 
if Sunday Mass is not a struggle, perhaps, Lord, I should be making an effort to attend weekly Mass. And if I already attend weekly Mass, perhaps to spend some time in adoration before you at some point in the week. And if I do not struggle with any of this, perhaps my struggle lies in my intention and my interior dispositions. Why am I going to Mass? Is it because I have to or because I want to? How do I prepare for Mass? Do I arrive on time? Do I take time to pray with the readings? A great way to prepare with the readings before each Mass is listening to these meditations. Do I recollect myself during the celebration and participate in the prayers attentively? Our desire to come into contact with you, to touch you, Lord, should always increase. Lord, love is never satisfied with the bare minimum, but it always wants more. Because we love you, Lord, because we want to be in contact with you, because we want to touch you, help us to be more and more Eucharistic. This is a sure path to holiness as can be testified by the life of the saints. How about confession? What role does confession play in my life? Do I go to confession regularly? A sign that we are growing in our friendship with you, Lord, is an awareness of our sinfulness. Since, since you are light, the closer we are to you, the more light there is inside of me, to see my sins. But to make confession a part of my life, and not simply something that I do once in a while, when I remember, it is good to plan ahead. We plan for many things, when we have to go grocery shopping, so we get the special discount, when we do the laundry, when we go to the dentist. It can be helpful to plan ahead when it comes to confession. By entering the days that I will go to confession in my calendar for the rest of the month, the semester, and even the year. In this way, when the day to go to confession comes, I will go. When we are organized and plan ahead, things get done. If I find that I am reluctant about going to confession because I keep on repeating the same sin, or because I do not know how to confess or what to say, no need to be afraid. I can approach a friend I trust or even a priest who is in the confessional and ask for help. Lord, help us not be afraid, shy or embarrassed when it comes to asking others for help. Help us to avail ourselves of the sacrament of confession frequently. If I do not struggle going to confession, since it is already part of my life, we can improve at the quality of our confession. Lord, help us to make confessions that are contrite, that are clear, that are complete and that are concise. Contrite because we are sorry for having offended you, the one we love. Clear because we want to go to the point. Complete so as not to have any secrets with the devil. Concise so that I treat confession for what it is, an encounter with you, Lord, who cleanses me with your mercy to make me well again. Let us turn to Our Lady. She knows what it means to come into contact with you. She knows what it means to touch you. You came to dwell within her at the Annunciation, and throughout your life on earth, she gazed upon you and held you, Mary, help us grasp your son's humanity so that we may participate in his divinity and so be made holy. I thank you, my God, for the good resolutions, affections and inspirations that you have communicated to me in this meditation. I ask your help to put them into effect. My Immaculate Mother, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, 
my guardian angel, intercede for me.